11 deadly plants you'd better stay away from. When you're out in the wild, there's always the chance of stumbling upon a poisonous plant. While adults will probably just pass by, kids could suffer from their curiosity. Many dangerous plants are grown as decorations and can be found not only in the woods, but also in our homes and gardens. Stay alert. Number 11, buttercups. Scientific name, ranunculus. It occurs in the temperate zone of the Northern Hemisphere and it prefers damp spots or bogs. There are several species of buttercups and many of them are poisonous. Why is it dangerous? It contains a caustic sap that can leave blisters on the skin. On contact with mucous membranes, it provokes coughing and larynx spasms. If the sap gets into your eyes, it can cause temporary blindness. Number 10. Cowbane or water hemlock. Scientific name, Cicuta verosa. The plant occurs in Europe, Asia, and North America. It grows in wet places such as bogs and riverbanks. Cowbane smells like carrots, but don't let yourselves be misled. It's one of the most toxic plants on Earth. It's not easily distinguished from related species. To be on the safe side, don't touch similar looking plants growing in damp places. Poisoning symptoms include nausea, seizures, and cardiac depression. It may even cause death. As little as three and a half to seven ounces, or 100 to 200 grams of cowbane root is enough to kill a cow. Number 9. Elder. Scientific name? Sambucus. You can find this plant in the temperate zone of the Northern Hemisphere and Australia. The most common members of this genus are the red elder and black elder. All parts of the plant are toxic. If you as much as touch an elder, you'd better wash your hands. Ripe black elderberries, however, are completely safe and are used to make beverages and pies. Why is it dangerous? It causes headaches, weakness, abdominal pains, and occasionally seizures. Cardiac or respiratory failure are also possible. Number 8. Orleander. Scientific name, Narium. It usually occurs in tropical and subtropical regions. It is used in landscape designing and grown all over the world as a houseplant. Nerium is truly a treacherous plant, enticing us with its fragrance and beautiful pink or white flowers. The plant contains cardiac glycosides that can alter your heart rate and cause nausea, headache, weakness, and even death. According to a legend, Napoleon's soldiers once started a fire using oleander branches and roasted meat on it. In the morning, some of them didn't wake up. Number 7. Aconite or Wolfsbane. Scientific name, Aconitum. Where does it occur? In Europe, Asia, and North America. Due to its beautiful purple, blue, and yellow flowers, it is grown for decorative purposes. It's a tall and eye-catching plant. In the ancient world, it was used for poisoning arrows. Even bees can poison themselves if they collect aconite pollen. Keep in mind that this plant is very toxic. It causes cardiac arrhythmia, numbness, darkened vision, and death. Number 6. 
Jimson weed. Scientific name, Datura stramonium. It occurs in Northern and Central America, Europe, and Southern Russia. Jimson weed resembles potatoes or tomatoes, which is not surprising because it's their close relative. It is an inconspicuous plant with thorny capsule fruits that have black seeds inside. Its white flowers emit a stupefying smell. The plant contains alkaloids that cause palpitations, disorientation, and delirium. In severe cases, death or coma are possible. Shamans of many peoples use this plant in their rituals. Number 5. Hogweed Scientific name, Heracleum You can find this plant in temperate regions of Eurasia. One species grows in the USA. It's a giant and impressive looking plant, but be careful not to take photos of yourself next to it. Why is it so dangerous? Some species contain furinocomerins that cause painful blistering under sunlight. If some hogweed sap gets on your hand, wash it and protect it from sunlight for about two days. Number 4. Spurge Scientific name, Euphorbia Where does it occur? Everywhere. It can often be seen even in our houses. A huge number of species belong to the Euphorbia genus. They are often very different. Some look like cacti, others like flowers. Teach your children not to touch unfamiliar plants even if they grow in pots. Why is it dangerous? The sap leaves blisters, later joined by indisposition, swellings, and fever. Number 3. Rhubarb Scientific name, Rum rhubarbarum. It is cultivated in Europe, Russia, and the USA. In many countries, rhubarb is used to make pies, salads, and sauces. Some even like to nibble on its raw stalks. Not everyone knows that the leaves and root of this plant are not to be eaten because they contain a huge amount of oxalic acid. They can cause burning in the throat and eyes, kidney stones, nausea, and diarrhea. Number 2. Belladonna Scientific name, Atropa belladonna It occurs in Northern Africa, Europe, Southern Russia, Asia Minor, and parts of North America. Belladonna looks like a bush with blackberries and pinkish flowers. It contains atropine, an alkaloid causing pupil dilation. In the Middle Ages, belladonna drops were used to make the eyes more attractive. Today, similar drops are used during eye operations. Mild poisoning leads to palpitations and dryness and burning in the mouth. Severe poisoning causes complete loss of orientation and sometimes cramps and death. Number 1. Castor bean. Scientific name, Ricinus communis. This plant occurs in tropical, subtropical, and temperate zones. Because of its unusual appearance, it is grown as an ornamental plant. Unsurprisingly, castor beans are used to make castor oil. But don't worry, heat treatment destroys all the toxins. It is possibly the most dangerous plant. It contains extremely toxic compounds, 
ricin, and ricinine. The seeds are particularly deadly. Eating only four to seven of them will lead to death. Smaller doses cause irreparable harm to health since ricin destroys body tissues. Here's our little bonus. Venus flytrap. This curious plant is hardly able to kill you, but doesn't it look like something from a horror movie? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments below the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, share the video with your friends, and click subscribe to join the bright side of life.